What is up guys? Welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. Today we are working on the Hellcat. And if you've seen our previous episode, we did a lot of tear down right here. And now it is time to go ahead and get this little piece cut out. I already drilled it out. And this right here we could not get because I forgot to get the glass cut out. So we had to come to a stopping point. But now as you can see, the glass is out. So I'm gonna get this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to self tap all of these areas. That way I can take this vice grips off and we'll go ahead and put that new sheet metal on, test all the gaps and make sure everything is good. Once we can ensure everything is good, I'll go ahead and weld up all of this area right here and we'll get that painted and coated and ready to go ahead and keep moving forward and getting this thing built. So let's get started and let's get straight into this episode. Alright guys, so we are making awesome progress. Check out these gaps. It's looking beautiful guys. Everything's just lining up so well. All of this stuff is just getting super flush. I'm really happy we went ahead and replaced that. It's just going to make this job so much cleaner. Check that out. Just awesome. Really happy with all of these results. Everything's looking great. So now we are ready to go ahead and take everything off and clean all of this up and weld up this inner structure and then we can go ahead and move on and start fitting the panel for good making the final cuts and getting that welded in so i'm going to take this off clean all this up and grind off all of the paint get it all bare metal that way we can get some nice welds we'll throw some weld through primer and get all of this stuff welded in and then we can move on All right, so we have the structure all welded up really nicely. Everything's turning out awesome. With these welds right here, I'm not gonna grind these down because this metal is super thin. If I grind these down, these welds are gonna be extremely weak and in an accident, it's just gonna break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the inside welds up really nicely. And on the outside here, we're gonna get rid of all the burns so it doesn't corrode and we're going to just seam seal it. And same with these right here, just where it touches the quarter panel, Obviously where we'll have fitment issues, we'll get it ground down real nice, but the rest of it I'm gonna leave and then just put seam sealer over it. That way it stays strong, but the inner structure looks really good. I'm glad I did it like this. Now it is all original. And once we get it done and painted, it's going to look beautiful. So we're gonna move on to this area right here and get this done. And once this is done, I'll go ahead and fit the quarter panel and get that thing prepped. And then we can weld the quarter panel in and start grinding everything down and getting it ready for body work.
all right guys so check this out we got the inner structure looking beautiful i'm really happy how everything turned out and keep in mind guys this right here was just courtesy just getting it done for the customer it was already way over budget and this just wasn't part of it so really it was more of a favor but i'm glad i did that because check this out now we have a super clean slate for this quarter panel everything is looking beautiful the gaps are lining up very nicely super happy with it and as you can see this rear pan is already welded in looking great so i'm going to prep the quarter panel we need to drill out everything get it ready sand it throw some weld through primer throw that on there and then go ahead and weld up the quarter panel and hopefully get all these gaps really nicely that way everything looks super good so what i'm going to do is clean that up throw it on here get it in its spot and see how everything looks in its final place and then we will weld it up and as you can see, all of this stuff lined up super nicely. Everything is nice and tight. Look at that, that's just amazing. We're gonna wire wheel this, clean it up a little, throw some seam sealer. These spots, I'm not going to seam seal. I want to clean them up and paint them. This stuff, obviously, there's no need to do all that because it's gonna be covered in the seam sealer. So let's go ahead and get started on this quarter and get it ready to fit up for good.
All right, guys, so we made a lot of progress on this car. It's actually been a lot of matte today. I have been painting a car all day today, but check this out, guys. The inside looks perfect. I'm so happy with it. It looks just like this side, it looks literally OEM. You can't even tell that inner structure was replaced. I'm super happy how all that turned out and that we were able to do that for the customer. So it really turned out beautiful. Matt went ahead and sanded all this for primer before we put the seam sealer on. And that is because once the seam sealer dries and we prime it, we won't have to sand and risk messing up the seam sealer. It's all laid out super nicely, exactly how it was originally. Unfortunately, we can't get it primed, guys. It's like almost eight o'clock and I've been painting all day. What do you think, Matt? Should we show him the car? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. We'll show him in a second. But as you can see, guys, we got glaze on all of this. And if you've seen the mud work, Guys, there was like a little strip of mud. I stitch welded this real carefully. No warpage whatsoever. And then just a sheet of Bondo. Not a sheet, like a thin sheet. And then a thin sheet of glaze. This is all gonna sand off mostly. And that'll be ready for primer. I'm gonna go ahead and prime the whole quarter. I found a dent here and a dent here. So we're gonna prime all of this. And down to there, we'll let Don trim it out. So that's it on the charger. Let's go check out what I've been doing all day. Unfortunately, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't get this primed for you, but it's okay, because we got a lot done regardless. Shout out to Matt for working over here. All right, so here we are in our secondary booth. This is what I've been doing all day. Check these bumpers out. These are actually part of the job, and man, I gotta say it turned out super slick. This is the Pearl. That's one of the reasons why it took so long. Check it out, we got the front bumper right here. Super awesome that we have two booths here because we are able to put multiple parts. As you can see, they did not fit with the vehicle and it works really well in here. We, Larry made this, not we. I didn't do anything in this because I'm not a painter, but I do paint occasionally on some jobs and I think it turned out pretty good. So let's go check out the van and then that's gonna be it for this video. And then here we have our main booth. Check it out guys, we did the trunk, we did the quarter panel, the door, both doors and the front fender. And he did not want to blend onto this panel, but I gotta say that is a very good color match right there. It looks beautiful, but it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. I did make a little bit of a oopsie run there at the bottom, but no big deal, it's at the bottom. We'll sand it out really nicely. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Also, a lot of this stuff, right, like this van and other little small jobs that I'm doing, I post them onto my Instagram. If you wanna follow at motorhead.co, I'll post that down below. We appreciate all the love and support in the videos, and if you're enjoying, be sure to like me, tap the subscribe button, and stick around if you wanna see more content just like this. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for all the love and support, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.